Hello there! So, for those who personally know me, which is most of you, these beginny clips probably looked nothing like Virginia. And that is because Coco and I have moved pretty, pretty far away to, drumroll please, San Francisco. So this move has been a long time in planning because I have just made my first career switch since graduating college. And that explains why I have been dormant for the past six months ever since I uploaded my first few videos in 2020 because I have been spending most of my free time studying for my coding interviews. And I am glad to say that after four months, my Silicon Valley dream has come true. Well, that will be a entire new video of its own, hopefully. Anyway, long story short is after three, three weeks, three weeks since I got my job offer, Coco and I have packed our bags and we flew over here to the Sunshine State. Well, the move of course has been super hectic and I really tried to document the entire process, but being the anxious person that I am, the moving part alone already was too much for me to handle alone. Uh, I had to pack all my boxes, ship it out, ship it out via USPS, ship my car, find housing, etc., etc., all in two weeks' time. But of course, thanks to my friends in Virginia and California, the process has been slightly more bearable. And finally, on May 26, I cleared out my apartment, packed up Coco, and we got on our five-hour flight, which was delayed by two hours. And finally, we landed in San Francisco International Airport. Well, the unfortunate thing is, despite all these planning, my potential apartment won't be available until mid-July. So, until then, Coco and I are going to stay in this Airbnb, which is a super lucky find for a semi-long-term stay because the host was kind enough for me to bring Coco along and the decors are super cute as you've already seen in the intro and what's very important for me, the sunlight is awesome and the neighborhood is quiet and yeah, as you can tell, I have been spending a long time filming all of these so, first impressions, since I've only been in this city for less than one week I tried to go out as much as I can, thanks to the high rent pushing me outdoors First thing, of course, it's the amazing food scene. And this isn't limited to San Francisco, because my friend has been taking me out to San Mateo, Daly City, Fremont, and oh my gosh, forget my dieting plans. So far, it has just been impossible. So for the 25 pounds I gained during quarantine, I think this will be a long challenge. Well, the second part is that despite being a massive scale city, there is still a lot of nature involved. So on the second day, my friend Jillian took me out to brunch and afterward we just chilled in Dolores Park, which actually a lot of people were having picnics around and little puppies running around as well. In the afternoon, my college friend Andrew came and we just took a long stroll in the Golden Gate Park and also the Japanese garden in there. So that one is $12 for tourists and $7 for California residents. So my California ID cannot come soon enough. But of course, throughout this time, I was seriously just scouting out for future photo shoot opportunities and locations. So if you live in the San Francisco Bay Area, remember to hit me up in my Instagram. Overall, this has only been my first week here, so thanks for bearing with my stream of consciousness throughout this video. Maybe I'll make a moving in vlog when I actually move in, but we'll see. Maybe you won't see me again for another half a year, just like last time. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But anyway, good luck! Oh, before I go, I almost forgot. Again, if you are in the San Francisco Bay Area and you want to take some photos by yourself or with your significant other, I have my camera here. So be sure to check out my portfolio on my Instagram and we'll see if we can work something out.